What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And of course, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best Cydia tweaks that are available right now that do work with the latest version of iOS that can be jailbroken. As of right now, that's iOS 8.1.2. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Ayura LS. It's available in Cydia for free. I think that's how it's pronounced. You know, here's the spelling right here on the settings panel. And basically what this is, is, is it's a lock screen replacement. So I'm just going to go to my lock screen here and show you what this looks like. As you can see, you know, by default how it works is it just tells you the time in this little, you know, circle. And if you slide to unlock and you do have a passcode, as you can see, you have this really nice animation. You know, all the buns and everything just come into you know, come to the screen in a very elegant way. And it's just very nice. And of course, as you can see, you could enter your, you know, passcode buttons. And to delete numbers, you just need to select this little area down here in the bottom right uh, uh, corner of the screen, as you can see, and then it will delete the passcode characters. There's no button, but, you know, that's what you need to do to delete characters. And as soon as I finish entering my passcode here, as you can see, you know, it just unlocks as you normally would expect. So it's just a very good looking lock screen replacement. Now, if you go into settings on your device, there are various options to configure for this tweak, as you can see. You know, one of the, you know, best things I would say that you could do is you could change the entire clock face. So if you go into clock face settings here, then you go into clock type, as you can see, you have three options. You know, by default, it's text, and that's the one that I just showed you. There's also digital and analog. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it to digital and show you what that looks like. So let's just go to our lock screen here. And this is my personal favorite out of all of them. As you can see, it just tells you the time right in the middle. And of course, you know, all the animations and everything for the passcode is exactly the same. But, you know, it's a lot quicker for me as opposed to having to read text, you know, you know, like 106, you know, just to actually see the numbers. And heading back to settings, there's also an analog option as well. So I'll just go ahead and show you that one. And let's wake up our device. As you can see right there, you know, it basically just puts an analog clock right there. And again, you know, it's personally quicker for me to just see, you know, the actual digital time. But, you know, it does look very nice. I will say that much. It just takes me a while to read an analog clock for whatever reason. So, you know, I do prefer digital. But as you can see, again, everything just looks very nice. And as I said earlier, again, there's various other options you can configure, you know, just in these settings. As you can see right here, there's various things you could do. And once again, the tweak's called Ayura LS. It's a very nice lock screen replacement. It's available in Cydia for free. And just one more thing with Ayura, I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you do not have a passcode set on your device. As you can see, it just unlocks without any of those animations. I just wanted to show you what that looked like. And next up, we have Blurry Launch. This one's available in Cydia for free. And it will give your device a very nice blur effect when you launch applications. As you can see right here, if I just open up the Settings app, I have this nice blue blurred effect. And that goes for any application you open, as you can see you're just going to get that same effect. And there are some settings to configure for the tweak. So if you go into the settings panel for it, make sure the tweak's enabled. Then you have the blur theme and blur strength. So if you go into blur theme, as you can see right here, there's you know, various themes to choose from. By default, it's on cloudy blue. Let's just change it to vibrant green, and I'll show you what that looks like. You know, as you can see, it basically just changes the color. And if you go to blur strength, this is going to change the intensity of the blur. You have low, medium, and high. Let's just change it from low to strong. And now we're going to open up the settings app again. As you can see, you know, it's a much more intense blur. And it's just about it for this tweak. Once again, it's called Blurry Launch. It's available in Cydia for free. And it basically gives your device a very nice blur effect when you launch applications. And next up, we have Paged Switcher. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will make it so when you're in your app switcher and you're scrolling back and forth, it's going to make it so there's not a smooth scrolling effect. It's going to make it so, you know, it, it basically takes the applications and scrolls them, you know, before you one app at a time. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, when I swipe here, it's basically just moving me from one app to the next. Normally in iOS, it's a smooth scrolling and it just kind of moves you across all the applications. But as you can see right now, again, it's a, um, you know, one app at a time. And if you swipe, you know, as you can see a little bit stronger, you, you can go two apps at a time. But, you know, for the most part, if you're just scrolling like this, it's going to, as you can see, move one app at a time. And this can be convenient because, you know, maybe you're scrolling and you accidentally scroll past the app you want to tap on. But again, with this, it's going to be a little bit easier to get to the specific app that you want because, as you can see, again, it just, you know, goes one app or two apps at a time. And if you go into the settings for the tweak, as you can see right here, you have the ability to enable or disable it. And that's pretty much it for this tweak. Once again, it's called Paged Switcher. It's available in Cydia for free. And next up is All Look Later. This one's available in Cydia for free. And it's to allow you to determine which applications have the ability to wake up your screen. 
For example, let's say you received a notification from the Messages application. Of course, normally in iOS, your screen will light up and you'll get the notification sound. Let's say you just wanted the sound and you did not want your screen to wake up. This tweak allows you to do that with any application on your device. So if you go into the settings panel for the tweak, as you can see, all the settings panel is, is it's just a list of all the apps on your device with toggles. And just toggle on the applications you want this tweak to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and toggle on the messages application for this demonstration. And now I'm just going to go ahead and lock my device and send myself a notification. And there you go, as you can see, you know, as you can see, my device clearly received the notification, but again, it didn't wake up the screen. And, I, you know, I still got the sound and everything. However, if I do just decide to wake up my device, of course, it's going to be there. But again, that's, you know, a privacy thing. So maybe you're in public and you, you don't want somebody seeing the notifications coming in from a particular application. Or maybe you're just annoyed by your screen constantly waking up whenever you receive a notification from, you know, a particular app. This tweak allows you to fix that issue. And once again, the tweak's called All Look Later. It's available in Cydia for free. And last but not least, we have No Notifications Text. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will allow you to change the text that shows up in the notifications section of your notification center. Normally, it just says No New Notifications, but as you can see, I changed it to All Caught Up. And of course, you can configure this inside the Settings application for the tweak. Go in here, make sure the tweak's enabled. Then just go ahead and put in your text in here, type it in. Then select save, and then when you go into your notification center, again, as you can see, it will take an effect. Now, obviously, this is a very small thing, but, you know, it's still nice. You know, it's really nice to be able to kind of just change that and, you know, make it whatever you want. You know, I actually do prefer all caught up. You know, it makes you feel a little bit, you know, proud of yourself that you uh, managed to go through all of your notifications. And once again, the tweak's called No Notifications Text. It's available in Cydia for free. And that's just about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys found some good tweaks to install on your devices. If you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. Also, be sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all this will be linked down below in the description. And again, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.